designated survivor. Yeah. How exciting is this? Third season. It's third season, um, although they're considering it, you know, a reboot, almost yeah. a new show. They really kind of changed things up a little bit. And you're playing Lynn. Lynn Harper. Tell me about Lynn Harper. Well, Lynn Harper is the wife of the new chief of staff of the White House, who's played by Anthony Edwards. You might remember him from ER. He's fantastic. And uh, Lynn is from a very Washingtonian political family. Her father um, is a very powerful senator and everything, so she sort of grew up in that environment, privileged, hurt her back, and got addicted to opioids. Mm -hmm. Her addiction is really putting pressure on her marriage, and also for Mars Harper, her husband, it's hard to go to work and have such a high pressure job with this going on at home. Right, and so timely because we hear daily about the crisis, the opioid crisis that I'm everyone's I'm overwhelmed facing. by it, you know, because I have to say, of course I knew about it, sure. of course I knew this was a thing. But when this role came up and I actually started to do some research about it, it became it's the most frightening thing. It's so frightening. I have teenage boys. I'm terrified for them. They're all, um, two of them are having knee surgery. We're not having any of those kind of pain medicines, you know? Um, yeah, it's, it's really, it's really a crisis. I think as parents, this is the scariest thing we face. Mm -hmm. It scares me with kids and stuff because you might not be able to See tell it. right away. You know, and there's these things that I've read about called farm parties where kids go in their, the medicine cabinets of their parents, take pills, bring them, put, dump them all in a hat, pass the hat around at a party and you just take whatever you get out of the hat you take. Oh my God. This is frightening. And then yeah. I think parents, clean up your medicine cabinet. Yeah. You know, like let's not keep Things. drugs around that you're not actively needing at that moment or whatever. It's, it's so scary. Scary. As I said when I saw you, you look better each time I see you. <laughs> I want to know what you're doing. And don't tell me it's like, oh, I'm getting eight hours of sleep and I'm drinking lots of water. What is it? Bikram yoga. Oh. It's very hot. Okay. It's hard and it's a lot of sweating and I think that really helps your skin and stuff. Right. What about the hair? The hair is a nightmare. That's what I thought. And so, therefore, just so you know, in my real life, mm -hmm. oh no, it's on my head in a knot <laughs> every single day. There is no point. Same. Because what am I going to do? Dry it and style no. it after that class no. and then go back and do it again? No. no. Okay. I'm a disaster. I'm an embarrassment to my son. They tell me every day. Stop. You're the best. Thank you so much. Thank you.